All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Fanatic Edge Omen here with me for a review. And as usual, we're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this guy. But first of all, let's check out the dimension. Uh, as uh, this guy is gonna be like, uh, I would say four, like 3.6 inch long blade with a around 4.2. 25 uh, inch long handle overall length a little bit under eight inches and um, let's check it out up against some uh, classic like this is the ontario rat number two for example and this is the ontario rat number one all murdered out uh, right over here uh, you can see it's right in the middle of these two guys uh, as it's uh, right in the middle um, between the spyderco para three and the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Look at this. This is not murdered out, except for the handle. Uh, but mm, let's see what else we have. We have the uh, Spyderco Tenacious over here. So comparable in size, but way, way, like much more mean looking uh, than that one. Here is your Shirogorov F95. This is the R and uh, slim version, another beast, uh, beautiful Koenig Arius uh, uh, style 55. And yes, because we have it here, look at this guy. This is beautiful. This is a ZT0055 Gustavo Cecchini SLT edition. Really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, Fanatic Edge Omen. And it's a very interesting knife. Uh, it has some uh, nice quirks, uh, nice uh, uh, design. Absolutely, it's um, a looker, in my opinion. It's very, very nicely shaped. Look at all these curves. I mean, there's curves going on everywhere. Handle is a very interesting one. It's uh, titanium, uh, black. Uh, uh, coated with uh, this cross hatched uh, or diamond pattern going on, really, really nice, guys. Uh, it has um, it has some nice milling going on. It's like uh, look at this curves here. This is not flat. Is it's a nice uh, surface and uh, it's very cool, guys. It's um, there's some quite some uh, milling that went on uh, into this one. So, for example, uh, these are like two titanium uh, slabs. There's no internal skeletonization. Um, it will be around 7.9 uh, uh, inch long uh, uh, overall, so not too big. Um, these uh, these scales have a nice feeling, a nice finish. Um, you can see nice uh, titanium blue anodized pivot collar on both sides. Um, all these curves have been chamfered on the outside and on the inside as well. Uh, you have some nice pattern going on. It's going to give you a nice grip when you're going to squeeze the handle. And um, you have an overall pretty mean looking design. Like I like this curve or like doing like this and then another one and then concave and convex mixed uh, throughout. It's, it's, uh, it's very interesting, I have to say. You uh, don't have a lanyard hole, but you do have a, a milled uh, titanium uh, backspacer right over here, which is going to be pretty nice and flush with the scales. Look at this. That's a pretty cool job, guys. Uh, you also have uh, a nice uh, lock face uh, insert right over here, which is also... Uh, serving as a over travel lock bar uh, stabilizer. Uh, you have uh, some nice um, uh, T8 uh, um, screws which are perfectly flush with the, with the handle, so not protruding. It's gonna be pretty straightforward uh, to disassemble and to maintain because uh, you have just one, two, three screws. So uh, pretty, pretty easy. What is very, very nice about this guy is the uh, pocket clip. Uh, this is um, a Zirkutai pocket clip uh, made by Chad Nichols, which means it's, um, it's a, an alloy. It's kind of like a Damascus uh, because there's uh, different alloys over here. Uh, one is zirconium and the other are titanium. And uh, that's why the name Zirkutai. Um, 
it's very very expensive to machine this kind of metal and you can see right over here uh, the layers uh, uh, that are mm, constituting this beautiful look at this pretty cool uh, pocket clip look at the black the purple these like uh, lime i mean it's it's very cool and uh, uh, it's it's i think it's nicely um, matching this overall uh, design because it's uh, pretty aggressive and these lines are I, I like them it's um it's unique it's uh it's a, it has an acquired taste it's not for everybody i understand it but i think it's pretty badass uh, of course, the pocket clip is deep up carry only. It's not reversible. This guy is not ambidextrous. It's just for like right-handed people because the lock bar is just right here. Uh, also, um, the blade, it's uh, something really, really attractive to me. This is M390 steel. Uh, it's um, it has a composite grind. So you can see uh, this bevel here is hollow this one is flat but look at the lines like here like this one from the plunge grind and then intersects into this kind of like a tanto area over here and over here intersects with the swedge going on from half of this thumb divot there's no jimping by the way uh, some chamfering going on over here but then this the swedge starts from up here and goes right down to the tip and it's almost symmetrical like on this side i don't know if you can see it's a little bit it's higher a little bit than this side but it's just a minuscule amount but overall looks really really cool i mean black washed uh, blade it's um it's very nice it as a nice belly over here and recurve edge up to the sharpening choil which reveals that this blade is not like the thinnest behind the edge but it's all right um you have um, some uh, pretty pointy uh flipper tab it's uh, not suitable for like a push button there's no way you're going to be able to push button you have to light switch it like this and it's going to be uh, absolutely functional but not for the push button um, this guy is uh, absolutely free of any billboarding which is something that i truly truly love it's very clean overall you don't see any marking whatsoever and it's uh, it's a great thing in my opinion um, also the sound this guy makes is very inconspicuous because it's not loud when you close it it's all right when you open it, it it's also on the quiet side guys it's it's a nice clock it's short when you close it it's not uh, it's almost as loud as the opening sound so very very interesting usually you know when you close the knife it's uh, quieter but in this case it's all right so i think the detent ball uh, just when it closes snaps into the detent hole and it's going to produce this uh, I, I think it's a listenable, uh, nice clack. It's not too crazy. It's not like uh, amazing, but it's all right. The weight in the pocket of this guy is going to be 4.7 ounces because there's no internal skeletonization, no internal milling, and it's just uh, two solid slabs of uh, titanium and M390 steel. So it's not the lightest, but it's dense because it's um, kind of like on the medium size. Uh, overall, it's, it feels like... Um, uh, feels like quality because uh, uh, it's not super light, uh, but it's well built, I have to say. Uh, the feeling uh, when you're going to squeeze the handle are going to be a little bit mixed because uh, the uh, clip, as you can see, it's quite tall. It's quite thick. So this area, in my case, is just like digging into the palm of my hand right over here. And uh, it's uh, a little bit uncomfortable, I have to say. But what I really like is the shape of the handle, which is recessed like in this area. There's a huge finger groove, which is going to allow you basically to, to keep the knife uh, uh, straight and use your uh, finger like that, uh, you see. So there's kind of like you can almost use it all the way down to the cutting board, for example, if you want to do some foot prep. And... Uh, it's going to be very, very functional. The grip, 
is also good, uh, but there's still some hot spots cr uh, created by the, the pocket clip, but it's, um, it, feels, it feels solid in the hand because of the uh, pretty thick and chunky backspacer going on over here, uh, giving some nice rigidity to the overall structure. So it's a good job, I think. Um, you can't really do like the reverse grip, at least I can't because the handle is a little bit on the small side. Uh, I would have preferred something right over here, but this area here, it's nicely done. You see why the flipper tab is uh, designed like this, just to keep the um, line, the curved line of the handle on going into the flipper tab and creating like a sort of finger guard when you just hold the knife like that and you want to just do some uh, stabbing. So this is going to prevent your hand from sliding onto the edge, which is a good thing. Also, I really like this uh, ergo on the blade, like uh, it's not really a thumb ramp, but it's um, like more a thumb divot and it's smooth, there's no jimping, so it's just uh, nice to, to rest your thumb like here and gain a little bit more precision into your work, so that's a good thing. Also, uh, like there's no blade play, it's pretty well built uh, overall and um, the clip as a uh, uh, I was expecting much more tension, guys, and this is, uh, it's springy, yes, but it's not the uh, strongest clip of them all, and it's really, really tight, uh, tall, sorry. So it's, it's okay. Also, um, what I uh, like actually is the deployment speed, because it's nice. It's uh, it's not the fastest, but it's it's quite good, I have to say. Um, the, the only thing is that, you know, you're gonna have to do a light switch and not a, a push button, but the deployment speed is gonna be all right. You're gonna have a, a little bit of finger sore because this guy is pointy, but it's nicely chamfered at the end of the day. Uh, it's gonna feel like smooth in the deployment uh, because it's running on bearings, uh, but uh, I have to say the detent strength is a little bit on the medium light side and uh, uh, since this is basically new and still has to break in, you have to wiggle a little bit in order for the blade to go in the closed position. So you're not going to have any guillotine effect. You have the free fall effect, you see, as soon as you disengage the lock bar, this is going to uh, fall, but the lock bar uh, tension is still going to uh, prevent the blade from having the guillotine effect. Not a big deal, uh, but if you like uh, more drop shoddy knives, uh, this probably needs uh, some breaking in period uh, before achieving that. Um, also, the lock uh, release, it's not super easy to disengage because it's basically flush with the presentation scale and there's no uh, jimping going on over here. So just keep that in mind. Uh, there is no detent ball ramp. You're going to feel a little bit of a hard step going on over here. But overall, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty unique knife, guys. Uh, it has a very unique look. Uh, for sure. I love this blue accent over here around the pivot, just a little splash of color. And I mean, come on, this clip is super badass. I'm I'm a fan of that. Overall, the shape, I like this, all these edges, all these curves going on. It's um, it's a good one. The ergos are not perfect because of the pocket clip. The sound is on the, it's nice. It's on the average side uh, at the end of the day, but uh, I overall uh, like this guy. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe. But thanks for watching and stay tuned.